more Nancy Drew Secrets Can't Kill. This is, of course, the remastered edition. That's why it looks so gorgeous. And we're at the high school, checking things out. We've met a couple folks. We met Connie, and we met Hal, and we've got some more places to investigate. So we're going to go down this other hallway over here. So there's more of this crazy code, I guess you could say. Oh, well, someone's locks here. So we don't know whose lock that is, but it, oh, it's the police tape. So this would be likely the lock of the uh, victim, Jake. So we'll keep on trucking here. More crazy code. Go a little bit further. Homecoming. More crazy code. Who wants to go to computer club? Sounds like someone's in the gym. Have I been down here? Or is this just another hallway? No, we can't get in there. Let's go to the gym. Who's in the gym? More on the boards. More crazy code. Pig Latin or something? I'm not sure what it would be, but... Who wants a drink? Manatees, I see. Hey, hello there, friend. Whoa, a new girl at school. Yeah. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me The Hulk. The Hulk. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. Who are the Manatees? Paseo Del Mar's mascot is a manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little sea cow. No, not really. Of course not. I know what to do if I come across a manatee. Yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool, except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. No, I don't go to practice. How's it going? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Really? Fan? Tanaka never missed a game. That is until he started hanging out with Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Oh no. Goodbye. I wanted to ask you Bye, question. Nancy. Ooh, you called me How's Nancy. it going? I gotta go. Aw. Bye. Number 80, I'll have to come up with another reason to talk to you. But for now, I must leave. I'm gonna head to our uh, diner, I think it was, right? Another pop machine. Soda machine, pop machine, what is it? Soda pop. Soda in Canada is actually carbonated water. You call it soda water. Pop is uh, flavored soda water. A little trivia for you folks. Once I can figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to end up with more trivia. Where is the exit? Ooh, art. 
art. I don't think I could draw anything this well. Ooh, look, Nancy! Hey, look! Money! Okay, where is the exit now? I just went around in a complete circle. Okay, this has got to be the exit here. There we go. Okay, let's go minis? No, Maxines. Oops. Ooh, video games. Yay, what do we want? We want... Rock and roll. What do I have to put money in? Oh, I think I can hear it. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's go downtown. Why can't I hear it? Woot, woot. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, darn. Aggression. Aggregation. No, oh, aggregation. That was in Deadly Device. Wow. I played that game for probably close to an hour. Of course, I didn't show you guys because, you know, <laughs> you don't want to watch me play that game for an hour. Uh, what are we doing here? Ahoy, meaty. Oh, it's this sort of, what do you call it? Oh, this is terrible with a, a mouse. Seriously, gonna. There we go. Okay, well, I got a pretty good score. It's not asking me for my high score. 288,000? That's pretty good. Okay, let's talk to the dude. Wasted so much time there, but that's okay. Pretty people. These fans as well? I don't think so. Alright, so where are we going here? Ooh. What's with the letters? O U H R. What does that even mean? Cash cow. Hmm. I bet you they spell something. Oh, what's this? X E R E. What is all that stuff? It means something for sure. Who's over here? Hello. Uncle Steve! Hey, Nancy! Uncle Steve. Why, I haven't seen you since. uh. Uh, for a long time. <laughs> How's your aunt, Aunt Eloise? Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit. Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so uh, suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? Sure, I got questions. How can I get into the teacher's lounge? Look, Nancy, maybe this assignment isn't for you. I can't be holding your hand all the time. Your job is to come to me with solutions, not problems. Could you tell me the combination to Jake's locker? Well, like I said, we already looked in his locker. There's nothing there. I know, but I'd like to see for myself. Then you'll need to figure it out by yourself. Wow, Uncle's kind of a jerk. See you around. Goodbye. 
Ah, uncle's a little bit of a jerk, don't you think? I don't know. Where's the shiny money? I really like playing Silent Spy because I could make cookies for real money. Real money all the time. So H I his His. So I got his. So how does that help me? I don't know. I do see cash cow though. I see is my is my cash cow. Is something. Whatever these green letters spell. Uh okay. is there like an extra page here? His hour? His arrow? Uh, I don't know. Alright, well something is his cash cow. And what about the dude over here? Hey dude! Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So... what can I do for you? Tell me about Maxine's. Maxine's is the best diner in Florida. The place is usually packed. I guess all the police that were camping out here scared the kids away. Now there's just a creepy old guy hanging around wearing an ugly green shirt. Daryl, that's my uncle. Oops. Oh, sorry, Nancy. Quick, Daryl, change the subject. <laughs> that's okay. No offense taken. You said there were a lot of police here. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. Who was murdered? A senior named Jake Rogers. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Yeah, FBI Nancy Drew. Wow, you must have some special contacts. <laughs> Just special enough to see beautiful women like yourself. Whoa, 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 is he flirting with me? Whoa. What do you mean? Get it? Contacts? I'm wearing contacts that let me see pretty women. Dun dun dun. I should get back to work. No, no, no. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Talk to me more. Talk to me more. Talk to me about Hulk. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. What about Connie? Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Whoa, whoa, what's with the flirting? Uh, like... Thanks for the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. Yeah. That's cool. I'm just saying, not playing. <laughs> I'm just saying, not playing. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. Okay. Bye. See ya. Wow, Mr. What President. can I do for you? Mr. Class see you later. President. See ya. And that's going to be where we take a break, and we'll see you in the next episode of Nancy Drew. Thanks for watching. I'm Mary Gibbs. We'll see you soon.